Sup Prockers, Wizrox here. Yes, I did just make that name up on the spot. Don't comment about it. This is a video. Actually, feel free to comment about it. Have a bad nickname for yourselves? Comment that as well. Okay, so this is a video on how to set up all the wiring for all the motors and stuff on Robot Arena 2. This was a request that was sent in about a week ago through the comments. I always plan on making this video, but I never really got round to it. So here we go. Um, what I like to do, you can see the chassis here. It's a very, very simple chassis. Um, it's currently only got plastic armor to keep it light, but you know, it's a very simple chassis. If you want to know how to build it, just ask and I'll do it. Um, it's a very, it looks really awesome. I really liked it. I was actually surprised when it came out. It's good. I made this in literally about two minutes, just to show you the wiring. Um, yeah, I haven't played this game in ages, so I'm not even sure if I'll do this right. Hopefully, I will. Woohoo! You can see there the flipper isn't center and all that stuff, but you know, this is, this will have to do. Even the rear. Motors aren't centered if I get that. You can see there, they're not centered either. Oh, they are sent there on the sides that they need to be, but not at the same length. So, yeah, and the reason the ballasts are there, you'll see in a moment. So, this is going to be simply how to wire this all up. I'm going to start with the button, and uh, this is going to be for the flipper. So, I like to call this flip, and um, when I set the button, when you press it, obviously the control will happen. So, and when the button is pressed, it will be on, and when the button is released, it will be off. That's how a button works. I like to set space as my button because it's a very simple button to press. And then you just click on the motor you want to set it on. So this is a mag snapper motor. And space equals fire. Fire! Yeah. Ta da! So every time I press space, ta da! That happens. So I'm just going to spam the space bar for a little while. I'll press and hold space. No, it doesn't stay there. Okay, cool. Um, now we're going to set up the pig motors, piglet motors, brushes, and all that jazz. You can set it on a button, but who would want to? Could sort of like set it on. You could. There's, there's a better way, okay? Uh, and that's these analogs. Those are the last ones. Um, so what you do here is you set a positive and negative. So here's W and S. So full positive is full in one direction, and full negative is full in another direction. Makes sense. Um, I would give it a name, but I really can't be bothered. Um, so you click on your first motor, and what you do is you select one, so for, for W it's clockwise. Then for the negative, you select the opposite. Now you have to remember that due to these being piglet motors, the other side is facing the opposite direction. So what you have here needs to be the opposite on the other one. So if we have it here, I'm going to say opposite a lot, I warn you. So here it has to be counterclockwise and clockwise. Because they're facing opposite directions, they need opposite controls to do the same thing. So we go to the test area real quick. See if the flipper works. And if we hit W and S, ta-da, as if by magic, it works perfectly fine. Uh, yeah, um, if, it, if you end up doing this by accident, uh, let's just do this real quick. If you accidentally end up doing this, where you set them up where W makes it go backwards and S makes it go forwards, what I advise is instead of changing the whole control system like I just did, is you get here and you just change these around. So S and W. So full positive will be S and full negative will be W. And they're set up to do the opposite way on the same buttons. And it works just as well and all that jazz. But it's it's just simpler than going in and changing one of them. Um, again. Right. Positive and negative of this. It's A and D, obviously left and right if you're using the arrows. Um, how this works is these two need to be um, cl clockwise and counterclockwise. Both sides need to have the same. This is because because they're facing the opposite direction, the same input makes them go the opposite way. So they sort of like spin. You, it will all make sense in a second. Okay, so if we do this. Ta da! Again, if you may get it the wrong way around, it is. My rule of thumb is um, clockwise is on the top when doing left and right, and that should work most of the time. If not, you know what to do, I just showed you. Uh, so, yeah, this works pretty fine. And uh, now I'm trapped. Um, that's a pretty good flip, actually. Uh, uh, there we go. Ta da! So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's get some barrels or something out here. Uh, crates will do. So crates. Um, I did uh, just put plastic armor on here. So, 
so it's nothing special. It's just plastic armor that's been painted. You guys know how I like to paint stuff yellow with dark lines, because it makes all the individual bits more obvious. And you can see there the plastic armor's already been a bit. And where did the box go? Back there. Right, let's try flipping this. Yeah, that goes sky high. Okay, so that's basically how to do that. It's not that hard, it's a very simple, once you know what to do, it becomes very simple. And I spent ages trying to learn this. Uh, yeah, ooh, interesting. Yeah, I spent ages trying to learn this, and to no avail. So yeah, this is a simple video on how to get off me, on how to do it yourself. It's, as I mentioned, it's simple to do once you know how to do it, etc, etc. Um, it's designed this chassis. Um, if you want to know, comment, and I'll make a video about that as well. Uh, so yeah, um, one thing I should warn you is what's the, what you should do is you should always make sure the forward heading is the correct direction. Because I have a habit of making things backwards, so when I use it, forward heading is that way when I make it. If I was to show you the design, we'll lose everything. Should I do it? I'll do it in a second. And what I have a habit of doing is making it so that, oops, so that, yeah, there it was. That's what it looks like, basically. When I first make it, it comes out like that. And a simple way to fix this is just to change the forward heading. You just, you just watch those arrows, you grab this, and you move it to where you want it. And if you were re really wanted to make it hard on yourself, you could make the forward heading that way. And what then happens is you, when you start a battle, you start it with a robot sideways. So you could set up all the forward headings. So when the robots start, they start facing the corner and do a battle like that, and that could actually be quite interesting. Smile for the camera. Just focus on that mistake there. Just let's make it like this. Ta-da! So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching, and I will leave you on a space spam rampage. I missed the space for 11. I mean, the equals button. Bye. Let me guess, you enjoyed this video. The video on the left is what inspired me to do this. The video on the right is me playing Halo. And the button up above is to subscribe, obviously. Thanks for watching, guys.